G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, G'day, we're basically where we let off, left off from um, the recap episode, and this week is going to be a little bit different, I think. Um, we're not at a UPS limit yet, but I'm noticing that's getting awfully close once again. So we're going to run around at, at least the start of this week and do some more optimizations and launch some more rockets. Um, I figure this will probably count as our big project for this week. If we can keep reinvesting our speed module sixes down here over and over and over and get all this sped up to full speed um, by, you know, finishing off the ones required for green circuits, finishing off the re ones required for this green circuits, and then probably upgrading every single one of these assemblers from module threes to module sixes. We've already done the beacons. I figure we'll probably be able to say at the end of the week that, you know, that would be our big project and we'll be making many, many more speed module sixes per week. Um, which means I've got to keep an eye on this counter and make sure it's down to one already. Really? Oh, crap. Uh, that's a downgrade planner. That's a downgrade planner. Uh, that's an upgrade planner. Okay. So that means all those green circuits are done. All those green circuits are done. All those red circuits are done. All those green circuits are done. The blue circuits are done. There's two sitting here ready to go. We've done all the bacons. Um, I guess the only thing to do... Uh, no, that's down. That's up. Is to start doing these machines. Uh, you've got nothing waiting for you. Okay, bad example. Uh, nothing's got anything waiting for it. So it looks like it's all running at about the right speed. Okay. So we just do the whole lot then. Yeah, sure. That's just, you know, 400 odd speed modules gone. Okay. So we're going to do that. Uh, next thing I have to do this week is this blue circuit. I don't think is running at full speed. I don't think the red circuits are showing up quite when they need to. Um, well, in fact, I now know that they're not showing up when they need to. So, we're going to, rather than taking our red circuits from here, bringing them down here, de-stacking them, running them along the bus, and then re-stacking them, we're just going to put in a bypass lane. Um, that seems like the easiest way to go. We're just going to come up here, uh, line this up right there, and throw in a bypass lane. And hope not to get hit by a train on the way through. Do, do, do. Uh, bring that across. And then hope to jump all of this in one single bound. Woohoo! Uh, we're going to plug that in there. And then I'm going to disconnect that. Which means I'm also going to disconnect that. So we'll keep that on, which will run this one. Um, but now you're going to get a strong, steady supply of red circuits. After I remove all that belt. It means you should run faster. Uh, and actually, technically, what we might do is we might put that on there. Because we only need one lane. And technically, if I cut you down to one lane, we halve the amount of computations that, that, that the game has to do. Uh... So yeah, that should fix that problem. Technically, actually, if I ran the belt from here to here and then back through, I'd remove the calculation for one splitter. And splitter is worse than having the, the just having one loop belt. Just saying. Okay, so that should speed up that. We should speed up our blue circuit output. We should be able to... Okay, so you've got 19 waiting to be de-stacked, and that's counting up. But I don't want that to count to 100 before you start running the second one. So we're going to undo that. And then we'll equally slam them between the two of them. And that should speed up this. Which should speed up our fusion reactors. And... No, red circuits are still maxed out. Okay. So, that's stage one of the plan. Stage two of the plan is... I know I still need to work on... Fusion reactors, 
Uh, and I also need to work on Energy Shield Mark 2s. Uh, so I definitely want to make sure that this whole lane, which I think we did last week, but we're just going to confirm. Yep, that's all purple belt. Now I could run a second belt all the way across to give myself two belts of of blue circuits, which would get me more output to here. Something we might do in the future, but for right now, actually the next project I want to do is I want to look at our old builds. Uh, so we have this down here. Now, right from square one, okay? We had like our, our Mark One crappy build, which is not running. But you don't get blue circuits at all. Okay, I might have to look at a second lane of blue seconds. Okay, so we have our, our, our Mark 1, which then became our Mark 2, which then became our Mark 3, which then was sort of integrated up here in a, like a Mark 4 version. So each time we've been iterating on our current builds and, and setting up new builds, uh, which then came into Mark 5, where we started using... Actually, well, we stepped up to here first to use the stacked recipes. Um, but then we came down here and made modules with, with stacked recipes. Uh, yes, you run stacked. Oh, there's extra red circuits. No, one lane's backed all the way up. Okay, so we stepped up to this one, um, which is like, you know, mark six or seven. It's, 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 it's the iteration and the improvements, which is finally culminated on this one which is still short, technically, because I'm not using speed module sixes through everything. Um, we're, we're, we're at least on prod mod sixes, and we're at least on beacon mark threes, and we're in speed sixes where they're required, and we're running stacked recipes everywhere where it's required. Actually, everywhere. Everything from minor to final output are all stacked recipes. So, like, this, this is the next iteration. But we also have ancient tech being like this, which is still running on the stock bacons uh, with speed module threes, with prod threes mixed in with prod sixes uh, on, on normal belts. Um, you know, hell, um, some of these assemblers haven't been even been upgraded. Uh, so we have a lot of performance we could technically squeeze out of this area, which is what I want to look at doing. So I want to... Yeah, I just want to start with this first. Okay. So we have two builds. We have this build, which is our old build, which puts out 90. 90 green circuits per second. Now, we've just upgraded the beacons, and the beacons are cheap. I have plenty of beacons now. We do 175. We also now take in 80 or 75, so a purple belt each of copper and iron, compared to 38 down here. So, same story... If I upgrade all those beacons, which may require a delivery from main base, maybe. Come on, main base. Excellent. More beacons. You need to recharge on the way. Come on! Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. There we go. Okay. So if I upgrade that, it now puts out the required amount. So we have the old one. Actually, let's see if I can get a whole one in one max rate kicker. I can't. So our old one brought in 32 iron ore to make 30, to make 44 iron plate, to use 38 iron plate to make 90 green circuits. Our new build brings in 62 iron ore to make 86 uh, iron plate to use 74 uh, of that iron plate to make 175 green circuits. And all we've done is upgraded the modules. That's all we've changed over. It does mean I have to upgrade every single one of these belts. <clears throat> so we want to go into here. And I want to change blue belt to purple belt. Uh, blue, blue. Uh, green. Green, green, uh, purple, 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 and purple. So it does mean, oh, and there's loaders in there as well. Okay, hang on, let's go back here. 
we want to go from blue to purple, green to purple. Okay, so it then means I need to upgrade everything from there to there, plus my feet in, plus this whole belt all the way back to the miner. Okay. So we're going to go through a lot of purple belt. And purple belt's expensive. And look, I I did tweak end of last week the gear belt. So now we have two purple belts worth of gears. Which technically I could probably upgrade the blue underground belt all the way through here. Fitting gears up to the end. And I should actually probably change that over to a faster... I don't even have the faster... Oh, I can just use an upgrade planner. Faster stack inserters. These stack inserters. We want these stack inserters. Yeah, stack inserter mark two. Okay. So. <laughs> with all that upgraded to purple. We should be fine. Except now we've brought in ourselves a new problem. We need 244. No, 223. Copper cable. Uh, this does 75. That does 75. If I had another one, that'd be... What? 75, 150, 225, and you need 223. So we'd be good with that. So I need to move that. It also means I'm going to have to move... Uh, that belt out of the way. Because uh, I'm going to have to need one of those there, one of those there. Underground, underground, oop. And purple belt there. So. That works. We have a ridiculous amount of green circuits coming out. But I don't th think... I don't know. Maybe we're going to change all of these over to stacked recipes. I honestly don't know when it comes to this build. Uh, okay. You need to move over to here. You need to go... Oops, there, there, there. Uh, you need to go to there. We need to delete that. We need to copy and paste that there to put in those extra belts. And then I need to grab this upgrade planner and go swipe. And swipe. And swipe. And swipe. We'll get that one done at the same time. And we'll do some research. Uh, we're up to 67k. Um, sure, let's do another artillery range. Uh, and actually, lasers. That's also 64k. Uh, normal mining productivity is 57, 60, 62. We'll even throw it at 65. And a 67. Oh, your military. Uh, let's do that one. Uh, okay, let's do that, then that, and then that. Because I don't make military science terribly quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, military science is one of those things we do not make quickly. Okay, so again, upgrade planner, uh, all of that. And basically what I want to do is I want to upgrade the next one, plus its inputs. Uh, the next one, plus its inputs. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I want to make sure that I move that out of my way and put in... Where the hell do you go to? Okay, you go to there. Uh, you can go to there. And you can go to there. And that means I can chop that out and paste that over top. Uh, same story with this one. Uh, nope, that's wrong. That one goes to there. That goes to there. That goes to there. That 
the dark. Whatever. Oh. The pace doesn't come with the substation. Uh, how'd you break? Because I forgot a belt? Forgot a belt! Okay, uh, we'll get you moved out of the way. Put you there. And you go there. Uh, purple there to there. To that. Remove you two. Remove you two. Uh, paste that over the top. And then give you a gentle upgrade planner swipe. Upgrade all these belts going all the way back. Cool. Uh, actually, one thing. And we'll go back to this top build. One thing I can do. Is the moment we're pulling in. We're using 74 copper plate. Now I do have an abundance of productivity module sixes. I do not have a, an abundance of speed module sixes. But if I put that in there, uh, we can now see we're going to go from 74 copper plate down to what? Oh, 74 is the old one down to still. Oh, but our output is way higher. Okay, so we were making, we were using 74, so it's not going to change our input, but we're we're only outputting 244. Now we're outputting 350, but of course our input speed hasn't changed. So what we've done is we've upped the productivity, which means this is going to have, well, we can see this one has not a lot of downtime. Like it's, it's, it's pretty much alternating on and off. This one, and you'll see it mainly on the right-hand side, you can see it has a, a slightly higher uh, downtime because the productivity is so high. It's not running as fast, which means it's not using as much copper pl plate, which technically means we're going to be using less copper ore. So this is probably an upgrade I want to do all the way across the board. I forgot another belt. Okay, so we're going to start... Here, and I'm just going to literally update all the prod mods. And actually, we'll probably see it better on one of these old builds. Okay. Uh, there they are. Okay, so the old build... Whoops. The old build was using... Uh, outputting... Outputting 125, using 115. Now, we're outputting 180, and we're still only using 115. Again, we can see there's there's a certain amount of downtime there, and here there's less. Okay. Also means technically I can probably do that. Uh, control Z. I don't carry normal beacons on me anymore. Come on, normal beacon, please. Please, game. Please, please. Normal beacon. Normal speed module. Uh, okay, it's still a. It's close enough, I think. It's probably just going to be close enough for today's maths. Uh, so. This is the current build. It's just fast enough. We're using 38 plate. This one, we're down to 20. Oh, there, there's the beacon. We're down to 26 plate. Okay. So we've saved, what's that, 8 plate. If I come up here to one of the newer builds, and we do the exact same thing by stripping off bacons. Uh, there we go. So this one's putting out a ridiculous amount of copper cable. We're only using a little bit of it. Uh, this one's closer in ratio, but it also means we can see right here, we're only using 50 copper. Uh, so, much less copper. It also means I can probably save these bacons, but that's something we're going to look at shortly. For the first things first, I want to get all these upgraded. Uh, all the way back to there. Uh, that whole build as well.
because this this whole build, this whole productivity module six section is so behind in the times, it's so many iterations old that like if we were to build this now it'd be it, it'd be stupid. Like we already know that we're gonna like these output 170 what? 175? Oh crap. You don't even output. Lol. Yeah, that outputs to nothing. Um, these output 175 uh green circuits, which is a ridiculous amount. It's so ridiculous that we wouldn't build it this way now. We we'd be using stacked recipes. Now, does that mean I'm gonna change over all this to stacked recipes? Potentially. Uh I'm gonna put that there. Uh that's gonna go away. That's gonna go away. Uh, if I copy all of that, that's probably a better idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, okay, we can paste that on there, but I'm pulling off your outputs. Technically, I could do any. Uh, I'm pulling off that and that. And I'm going to paste that on there. Which goes to there and there. Uh... Ripping off that and that. And... Oh, that one as well. Pasting that on there. Uh, you can just do that whole belt solo now, dude. Uh, in fact, you can do that belt solo. Uh, you were going to there. Yep. That doesn't exist anymore. Uh, that goes away. That goes away. We're gonna hit you with an upgrade planner all the way back to wherever you get ore from, which is oh boy, at some belts. Uh, I'm gonna do your copper all the way back to your copper source, which is down there. Uh, it's not flashing to say we're out of purple belt yet. That's a good sign. Okay, and then I need to come up here and paste that on there. Which upgrades that belt. And you don't technically output anything. Uh, we're going to have to, again, upgrade planner. One over that build, that build. Uh, all your copper's done all the way back to base, or all the way back to wherever in hell you get copper from. Uh, so that goes to there, and that goes to there. And then that goes away. Yes. Uh, same story. Upgrade planner that. Upgrade planner that. Uh, uh, I'd say poor robots, but like, they should just expect it by now. Uh, that's got to go away, and then we'll paste that over the top. Uh, that goes in there, that goes in there, that's done. Uh, same story, upgrade planner. That whole build, and that whole build, and that whole build, and you're on a new line of copper and iron. Okay, so that comes down to there. That makes my life a little bit easier. It's a whole new lane of iron. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's screaming for undergrounds. Okay, undergrounds was sort of the first thing I was expecting to go. Because uh, they not be cheap. Uh, remove that, remove that, paste that on there. Put that there, that there. Yeah. Uh, okay, again, upgrade planner. All of that. Uh, everything else is done all the way back, so don't have to worry about it. That goes, that goes. We paste that on there. Yeah, this is the part I was worrying about. I, I personally do not want to run out of undergrounds because I want to be able to do these small tweaks. And they just happen. Uh, you, I stole your beacons. 
I sort of feel bad about it now. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to hit you with our upgrade planner. Because once I blueprint the changes to your output on top, that comes with fresh bacons. Like so. Uh, so that goes there. Yeah, that's the part I'm worried about. Me running out of undergrounds. Uh, oh, you have a belt that's going nowhere as well. Cool. Uh, if I remove that and that. And then just do that. And then put that on there. Technically, that belt goes nowhere. So remove that first. Can I remove the concrete? I don't know. Uh, and then we'll do this. Oh, I missed some. Okay. And uh, it looks like I missed these two iron lines. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So everything has been swiped with the magical upgrade planner. And we're short on beacons and we're short on undergrounds. Alright, so let's go for a wander back to base and see whether we can fix those two problems before we move on with anything else. Uh, beacons, the easiest answer is probably go visit the train and just say, give me. Along with... I want a strip like about that wide, I figure. Uh, are you Beacon Mark 3? You are. Uh, you're powered by a substation. Uh, can I get a... Big Fat Power Pole Mark 3 right there. With... Roboport. Uh, yeah, that filled the gap. Good. Okay. We're going to put in a path. A path and a half. Uh, no, we've still got free construction robots. We're fine. We haven't killed the base yet. Uh, we are definitely launching still. And what are you shipping? Fusion reactors. Okay. So we're still short on fusion reactors. We're also short on gears. Holy crap. Gears, 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 gears. Gears, gears, more gears, more gears, no gears, no gears, okay. Alright, what are you going to upgrade? Um, belt's fine. I wish you could put... That's wrong. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so hang on. You output eight. We're running stacked recipes now, so I can actually run you faster. Okay, okay. What we're going to do is we're gonna put one of those there. there and small power pole small power pole small power pole come on please tell me these go to somewhere magical it's super important Jump from here to here. Uh, really? Here to here. Okay, then I'm gonna have you come to there, and then we're gonna do that still. And I'm just gonna take this upgrade planner. Uh, actually, it's this side of the belt I really want done. That's the one that leads to undergrounds. And, 
What we'll do is we'll do that. You eat so many years. Stop it. Okay, you're actually getting plenty of gears from this side. We just need to throw gears at the problem faster. Okay, we're going to throw gears at that problem faster. If I upgrade all of this to purple belt, which we're attempting to do. Uh, there. Uh, do I have any in my inventory? No, of course not. Uh, there's one. My bots went and put it somewhere. Somewhere important, I bet. Uh... That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. I just said that can go away. Ah, that can go away. That can go away as well. Come on. I need this bit right in front of me upgraded. That's that bit done. That's that bit. That bit. Uh, okay, nobody's pulling gears off here, so we can put in a bigger jump. No, I want this bit right here. To oh, hang on. Nobody's pulling off gears there either. Uh, that connects, that connects, that connects. That doesn't have to exist. That doesn't have to exist. I think that's maybe too many. Yeah, that's too many. Okay, that does have to exist. That needs to exist. Uh, you need to exist, you need to exist, you need to exist. You do too, you do, and you do. It's not as many as I thought. Okay. Overall gear belt. Oh. I did it again. I ran a stacked recipe into the bus without unstacking it first. It technically can go up there and cause mayhem. Oh, oh crap. Turn off the exoskeletons. Just pick up everything on these two lanes. Yep. Uh... Oh, that's gonna chaos out. Yep. Okay, pick up everything. Turns out I don't mass recycle stuff. Uh, that's not even on the list. Iron gear stack of 25, really? Uh, so it is too. Set that to zero. Uh... Gear wheels themselves. Generally, you can't have too many gears. Unless you screwed the pooch on the whole bus. Um. 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 That one. A thousand? <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna stand here until the bus runs clean. Looks good. I think I have to come over here on that one. You know what? I'm just gonna stand here. Yeah. Again, stand here and hold F till the bus runs clean. That looks better. They can go away. Uh, you don't use gears, you don't use gears. In theory, they could have come up here. Yeah, there's rubbish on this as well. I don't want the pipes, just the gears, please. 
Okay, that looks better. They all look like normal gears to me. Yeah, I've got the, the zoom debug option on. I can zoom right the way in. It's good for when your gears look like other gears, look like other gears, look like other gears. Like, there's not a lot of a difference between that and that. Okay, so, hopefully with that problem fixed... No, let me through. We're still not producing these terribly fast. We need 40. And you have 140. Oh, actually. Please, let me help. Cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this upgrade planner again. Because now we have a lot of excess gear production. And we're going to upgrade planner from start to end again. And run back down here and go, okay, those two don't need to exist. And you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you don't. Uh, you don't. You do, you don't. You don't. You can make that jump good. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't, you don't, and then we're going to get to the end. Okay, now that you got a purple belt's worth, that's a lot of excess production. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in there. I'm going to put in a purple splitter. Thanks, purple splitter. Prioritize you to the right. Now, what's your limit? This belt. Crap. Fix my Break it up. You know what? That didn't really help much. Uh, power problem solved forever. I can. Why put that there? That there? You know what? You know what? I don't need these undergrounds. Just a bit of belt, please. Uh, we're going to put in a purple bit of belt there. And then I'm going to use a loader. That's not the way you designed to go, loader. I want you in. And that's only going to load in half a purple belt. But half a purple belt is an awful lot of gears. Unfortunately, it just seems to be pulling from the worst side of the purple top. Oh. Holy crap, we're decimating those belts. They are coming in as very, very full belts. Yeah, look, this is maybe a flaw with your, your, your make everything things. That all the undergrounds are on one side. All the undergrounds require a lot of gears. Every single one of them requires a lot of gears. Uh, yellow undergrounds require none. Red undergrounds require 40. Blue undergrounds require 80. As we work our way up to green undergrounds, they require another 40. And then purple requires... Another 40 on top of that. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, held up by blue undergrounds, which is all the way back here. And you're just not being fed fast enough. Uh, purple? Yeah. You go there, you go there, 
you go there, you go there, you go... Yeah, load up, load up, load up, load up, load up. That one. Uh, you know what I say about decimating things? Okay, we're going to put you pretty right. We're just going to fill you up. And this is the same way my bus works. Like, until this is choked and it's done, it has all the gears it could possibly dream of, the next one gets nothing. Okay, so once this is full at like 204 gears, then it lets a little bit through. Um, do I have to go that extreme? Probably not. You're set to not run if above 2k. We're going to change that down to 500, sir. We're going to set you to 100, 500. You output no matter what. That's a problem. Uh, you're going to take from storage first. Actually, I'm going to do... Oh, you're set up on a wire condition. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you're requesting. I guess that works. All right, we're going to set you to a logistic condition. Belts. A uh, thousand. Your cap to one. Your cap to... Yeah, you're kept to one as well, which is maybe a hindsight problem because definitely a hindsight problem. Let's go with four. You're capped to 200 at least. You're capped to, well, you're capped to 100. You're capped to not 200, but two stacks. You're, we're going to cap manually with just a hard cap to four, uh, which is 200 to four stacks. Uh, and then we come up to here, which you were hard capped to 500, and you're hard capped to 500 as well. And well, there's 250 in storage already. Uh, you're hard capped to 8k overall, and that's in a storage chest. But I guess that works. I guess that works. I guess. Uh, do I need buffer chests? I know. I'm going to swap these over to buffer chests. Uh, I'm going to request buffer chests because I'm getting low. Where is buffer chests? There. Uh, fifty and fifty and change you back to zero. And change you back to zero. Okay. Buffer chests. Ah, uh, 9,000! Please stop that. Okay. Time to disconnect these wires. I'm going to set you to an overarching condition of check the damn network first. Uh, 2000, because I am using those still in the trains. Uh, we're going to set you to be a buffer chest or green ones. Uh, 200. Oh, we're delivering a whole heap of them. Yeah, look, the, the, the poor man's request to chest doesn't work 100%. Um, and it is a catch, and it is a flaw, and I know it's a flaw. And you're a really crappy inserter. Can we get you upgraded slightly? Cool, that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, copy that to there to there. We're going to change that to that. And change that to that. Uh... I'm gonna get you upgraded slightly. We're going to do the exact same thing. Disconnect that. Swap that to there. Copy that one. Put it there. Change you to that. 
And put you in there. Uh, 600. Same story. Request lots. That way they should be in the box ready to go. You're set to 500? You know what? It's time that you had a thousand, I think. Just because of how expensive they are. And you're set to 6k. Okay. Ooh! Alright, all that said and done. Um, I'm actually going to cut the episode here. We got some of this done. We didn't get this obviously finished. We've just like at stage one tweaking of this. We're going to continue on with this next episode. Uh, our blue circuit conundrum. Well, actually, we're stacked up in both of these. This is running. This is limited by low density structures. Who would have thunk it? Where do I bring in that boost of LDS? Okay, we might do a quick loop de loop off that and shove it in there. Just because that's currently the thing. Holding up our rockets, but we'll worry about all that next episode. Um, I'm going to call it here. Oh, uh, rocket launches. Uh... Hang on. I'm trying to find the number we started off on. Uh... I want to say 309. Is it 309? Please thought it was 309. Um, 309. Okay. So, 20 names. Um, three. Okay. So, uh, oh, 309, 307, 809. Uh, no game, though. The no game. The no game. Uh, Daniel Moore. KK. Uh, yummy. Uh, some Nile. Uh, Captain Efficiency, which is definitely not me. Um, Asparta. Dr. Doof. Thank you, Doof. Uh, again, look, the, the URL is right there. Dr. Doof is a excellent Twitch streamer. Um, I really, really recommend you swing by and give him a look. He does play a lot of Factorio. The whole lot just moved. Uh, Andrew Knight. Uh, e. Chancy. Uh, Liam Sidney. Seth Gratis, uh, Dan McRae, Jimmy Gents, nope, nope, we're all out of order already. 220, 221. Uh, Dan, Dan, Jan, Dejovarek, uh, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. There. Uh, Nincy Viss, uh, Nikki Ray, Raygel, uh, The Geek Geek. Uh, Elizabeth Hattel, Paul, Paul Et, Paul Et, oh, I can't talk, uh, Mia Bull, Bill, Bill, Mia Bill Yatta, uh, I should just stick to first names from now on, uh, Sushin, uh, Zef, Zef, uh, Wu, Haro, and then 330. Paul McGillett. And with that said, that's where I'm ending this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I need to end it now before another rocket launches. Bye.